how organizations can implement continuous deployment and continuous integration and QA automation? That's a really great question, Tayyip. Thank you for asking me. Uh, basically, there is a pretty well-defined uh, set of steps that can be followed to ensure that uh, yeah, continuous integration and continuous uh, deployment are uh, <clears throat> implemented correctly in an, uh, in an organization. So I'll start with a very obvious step. Uh, that is setting up an VCS that could uh, track changes to your code base. Uh, furthermore, implementing a VCS such as Git, with that allows you to track uh, your code changes that allow you to uh, collaborate with others, let uh, others review your code and respond with better ideas to uh, help you refine your code and make it uh, more, uh, make it a, into a more better approach. Uh, after VCS, we can come uh, to the CDI, uh, CD and CI tool preference. Mostly in our organization and other organizations, Jenkins is preferred uh, for this uh, sort of operation. And what it does basically, it automates the testing practices uh, and the building, the deployment of your code. Basically, this tool should be able to pull the code from VCS and run tests and generate a build for deployment. Okay, when you have, when you're done with uh, setting up your Jenkins, you need to define a pipeline. Basically, a pipeline defines all the steps of code, uh, all the steps that the code goes through, and uh, from like initial check-in to the deployment uh, to the last part that is the deployment. Each stage of the pipeline should uh, have its own uh, number of tests to ensure that the code is ready for the next stage, so that there is no problem in between the stages and you know having corrupted code or having misinformated code like transfer over to the next stage. And then we have our automated tests, which serve as a validation check, and uh, they run as a part of the pipeline to validate the code at each step and at each stage so that they can catch errors easily and before uh, the code goes into production. And then we come on to the uh, uh, last part that is basically we monitor the production. And what the, that does is it helps us identify any issues that may arise after deployment or uh, like during it so that they can be quickly fixed.